Hi guys! In this video, I will show you how you can create a new Sidecore Helix solution in Visual Studio from scratch. I have empty websites folder and I'm gonna create this new solution here. First, I will create a new blank solution under the websites folder. I will call it Helix Example. Then I will add three solution folders Foundation, Feature, and Project. These three folders represent our project layers. We can have one or more modules under each of these folders. I will create one module for each layer. For example, under foundation layer, I will create dictionary module. Under feature layer, I will create navigation module. And under project layer, I will create website module. We can also have module group folders here. Under each of these module folders, I will create a new ASP.NET project. I will call it code because I would like to have this project under code folder and I would like the Visual Studio to create these folders automatically for me. So I will type correct path here and it will be src project website this is the path to my solution, then src folder, then project layer, then module name. And under each module folder on disk, we would like to have code folder. And under the code folder, we would like to have the project files. So I will click OK now. I will select empty template. And now, if we take a look on the disk, Visual Studio created the folders for us. And we have code folder. Now, I need to change the name of the project to match the Helix convention and it will be solution name so Helix sample then dot then project layer then name of the module so website I also need to go to the project properties and change the assembly name and default namespace. I have to do one more thing. Go to the web config file properties and change build action to none because we don't want the web config to overwrite our site web config uh, during deployment. I will create the same in, in a similar manner projects for dictionary module and for navigation module. So for dictionary I will create new ASP.NET web application 
under src foundation dictionary folder and I will change the name of the project to code like before I will change the project name I will set the assembly name and default namespace and also change the build action of the web config. Similar for navigation module. Okay, so we have basic helix structure of our solution. When we take a look on the disk, Visual Studio created uh, project layers folders on the disk. Under each of these folders we have modules folders and then code folders where we have our projects. Under each of these module folders we can also have other, other folders like tests or specification or serialization. That depends uh, what we use in our solution. Okay, so now we have some basic helix structure of our solution, but we would like to also have some automation for build and publish of our projects. For this, we need to copy some GARP scripts from Habitat repository. I already downloaded Habitat repository locally and will copy lib folder, scripts folder, GARP file, GARP config file and package.json files. I will copy these files to root of our solution. The next step would be to go to the command line and execute the npm install command. This will install all GALP modules. After this is completed, we can go back to the Visual Studio and we can create a new folder and call it configuration. I will add three new files to this folder and then I will go to the GALP config file and update path to our instance root. This is the path to our actual sidecar installation where we would like to deploy our solution. I already installed a clean sidecar installation and the path to this installation is like this. Now we can test if GALP scripts works. As you can see, I have all GALP tasks already listed here. And for example, the first one, copy the sidecar license 
from this data folder to this lib folder. I will delete this one, execute, and voila, it works. Looks like all other tasks works fine. The only issue would be with the sync unicorn task. If you would like to use that task, you have to configure unicorn. And this is not the part of this video. OK, guys, this is the end of the video. If you like it, please let me know in comments and please subscribe. Cheers!